Hello guys, hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna continue the tutorial. So part eight, now time to get all the posts. So one of the first thing I want to talk today, it's about the, the repo. Uh, just for letting you know, I put everything on GitHub. So I put the link on the description and all the repo work, it's you're gonna get all the part and I say always what we do in each part. So I learned that by my mistake on other tutorial, but now I really Thing, I get my best on that and now as you can see I have branch here and you can go example you are in the uh, you didn't see the episode 7 example you can click it and now after that you can see what happened at this point so that can really help you like if you get some trouble so that was the stuff about the repo again the repo uh, the, the link gonna be in the description so today we're gonna uh, get all the posts uh, last uh, time we uh, make it able to create and uh, get post by ID, but now we need to make it work with all the posts. So time to jump on the code. So first thing we need to always do, we're gonna create the controller. So time to jump on the post controller. So what we're gonna do here is gonna be pretty simple. The thing we want is just get all posts. So here we're gonna create a async function called uh, get post list and I'm gonna say rec and res again so for re request and response I'm gonna have a try catch here I'm gonna copy paste uh, all this line of code and I'm gonna paste it because I always do my catch first because I don't want to get some weird promises error after that here what I want to do it's I'm gonna uh, get all the posts so here comes post in plural because we're gonna get more than one I'm gonna do a wait Post that fine. If you put no argument, you're gonna get all the posts. And I want to have the user like I did here, so I'm gonna just uh, uh, put user right there. After that, really simple return res that status uh, HTTP status that okay. And I'm gonna send inside a JSON object, I'm gonna send all my posts. That's it, nothing more to do here. What I want to do after that is jump on post route, go there, create another get. Just do slash and now here that's gonna be, uh, gonna be post controller get post list here as you can see like the other get here what I do uh, with the ID I don't put the authentication GWT why because like if you go on medium.com you want the user who it's not logged to be able at least to read some posts but I don't want him to do nothing else than just reading stuff so if you want to add some comments or something like that I'm gonna make it uh, need to be authenticated. So this stuff is done here. So now I'm gonna jump on uh, Postman, but before what I want to show you, it's I've already fulfilled 10 fake data. So really simple, I did title nine and everything. So nothing more, I just like click nine times of my post. Like this here, I can create at 11 time. So just to be sure, always remember, you need to be logging first. And now I'm gonna create another post, that's it, perfect. So now I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna copy paste this link here, but now that's gonna be a get request. I need no others because I need to no uh, authentication. So now I'm gonna send. Now I get all my posts. So I get 11 posts here. First thing we should do here, like I always save this thing inside Postman. So here do post, and here I'm gonna say get all post, just to get a name. And take your collection here so no GS YouTube perfect so now I get here so it's really easy to if I close that I can click here click on get all posts and send that's it nothing more to do but now as you can see we have some kind of problem it's easy here I have 11 posts but if my app maybe is gonna be a big thing uh, it's impossible I mean to get all the stuff and make a, and get the performance at the same time so I know we can use like mongoose populin and everything, but I think in this tutorial here, the only thing I want to show you, it's a way to just make it like your own kind of get all pose. And I hope you're gonna uh, find this one uh, pretty simple and easy to learn. And I don't say this is the best uh, way to make it, but I think that can be a good way. So what are we gonna do first? We're gonna jump on the post model. As you know, I really like to abstract my stuff. So here I'm gonna go 
inside my statics because method it's called when you have one example one post but statics it's called on the post schema here i'm gonna call list so i'm gonna create a list you know we have post that find post that find by id post that find one etc so here finally the list is gonna just be a way to have some kind of limit in skipping stuff uh, i'm gonna show you what that means in one moment so here inside my list i'm gonna have an object here uh, where I'm gonna destructuring two things. Here I'm gonna have the word skip, who by default gonna be zero. After that, I'm gonna have the word limit, who by default gonna be five. And here I'm gonna do something maybe weird for some people here who don't really know ES6, but I put an empty uh, object here. So what I do here, Think about that first. So I would like you to maybe pause the, the, the video and think about what I try to do here. So I hope at least you maybe find an ID. So what I do is I give a value here by default. If I get nothing from my controller, else if I get nothing from, uh, if I get something from my controller, now I'm gonna fulfill like this empty object. I'm gonna post a link uh, on the description if you want to read more about that. I'm maybe like maybe the worst person to explain this stuff, uh, but this is all I, I feel about that. So here you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this because again this is the um, the, the post schema. Don't forget to put a return first because we don't return if we don't. Now I'm gonna do this. That's fine. So it's almost like what we did here. This that's fine. But here I can put now uh, some kind of other stuff coming from Mongo. So here I can say sort. So I can sort uh, what I send. What I mean by sort, it's a way to maybe sort by alphabetical uh, numbers, uh, not number, but name. And actually, you know, you, 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 you know what I mean. But here what I'm going to say is create it app and I'm going to put minus one. So what I mean here is I want to get the post who was the last one to be created first. So here, the first one I'm gonna get and the next time I'm gonna send my request gonna be the post number 11. Why? Because here I say create at last one and the create at it's becoming here inside the timestamp right there. So we're gonna just check which one is the last create, that's it. Because if you don't put that by default, this is the other side, so the, 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 the old one first. After that, I'm gonna say that skip. And as you know, here I'm gonna use the skip, finally. So, and here I put colon, but sorry, that was equal. Maybe that's why you didn't see what's happening here, but uh, let, let me a chance to just um, show you what that's gonna do. And here I'm gonna say that limit, and I'm gonna put limit. And now here, I'm gonna say dot populate, because why don't do that here? Like, I mean, that's going to just be cleaner for the controller. And now here I'm going to put the user. So here, uh, what I can maybe do, if you don't understand this part, what you can maybe do is something like that. Skip or zero. Limit or zero. So if no limit, if it's undefined, I'm going to get zero or something like that. So here you can put like five. But I don't know why I really love this kind of way here. So now we have made the list a uh, static uh, method, uh, static uh, function. So now time to jump on the get post list. And now we're really, really simple. Now the only thing we need to do here is to remove that because we already populate, so we don't need that. And now the find not, not to. Yeah, I'm gonna do dot list. Oh, list. So now I can get my list. So example now if I save that and I jump to Postman, and now I send, what's gonna happen? What do you think happened here? If you say I'm gonna have five posts, you are pre uh, really uh, right. So here I have one post, two posts, three posts, four posts, five posts. So that was my uh, limit. As you, here, I'm gonna just show you if I put two, and I save, and I go back to Postman, and I send again, Perfect, I get two, this is what we want. But man, you don't want your user to go inside your controller uh, your, or your model and make that. 
So we need to make a way inside the get request to say which limit we want and we, uh, how to skip. And for the, the skipping method, like what I can show you, it's here, example, if I have my five one and I send, you're gonna see the first one, it's title 11. If I go inside Visual Studio now and I'm gonna just say by default example uh, five and I save, what you think gonna happen? I want you again to pause the video. I hope you uh, see a uh, thing about what's gonna happen. And now here, see, title 11, I send, boom, title six, what happened? 11 minus 5, 6. We just finally say, I don't want the 5 first. Yeah, so if you are coming in from maybe a, a front end part, that's going to be easy maybe for you to understand. Okay, so now I can maybe make an infinite scroll. And what I do, it's every time I get to the bottom of, of my uh, uh, website, I'm going to just increment the skip method by example 5. That's it. This is all I'm going to do, like my uh, easy kind of pagination. So here I'm going to re-put that for zero. Because I want the user to, if he don't put a uh, no skip, I just give him the fir fi uh, first five. Perfect. Time to jump back on the controller. How can we send uh, some kind of value inside a get request? Again, I want you to pause the video. Why I do this? It's because this is the best way to learn is by asking yourself some question. Perfect. So now, how can we send something inside a get, a get request? I think a really good uh, way to make it is by doing a rec.query. We know rec.params. Here, we have a params. How can we do a query? So here, that was the param. Now, we're gonna jump on Postman and you're gonna see how simple it is to work with query. So what I'm gonna do, it's inside my post get all requests, I'm gonna click on params here. When I click, now I get key and value. Here, I'm gonna put limit. And I'm gonna say value three example. Now you see what happened? This is what they add at the, at the end. If you don't like the params key value here, which I think the most easy way to make it, put there, put that here if you want from you, uh, just by writing. So now I'm gonna send my request, but before what I want to show you, it's now here. I'm gonna console log my rec that query. I'm gonna open my console, and now I want you to see what's gonna happen. Now I'm gonna send, now, what happened? Yeah, like params, query, it's an object. Here, I get my limit. So, I can maybe add another key and say skip. Oh, skip, and you see, oh, skip. And you see, this is all the other end. So, another query and skip. Here, I'm gonna say maybe example two. Now, I'm gonna send. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Now, you see, I have my object, limit and skip. So, I can use it. So, I'm gonna go here in my list, and I need an object. Here, I'm gonna say limit, it's equal to rec, that query, that limit, it's an object. Here, what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna say skip, it's equal to rec, that query, that skip. Perfect. Now, time to jump on Postman. I'm gonna send. Oh. What's happening here? Now we need to read this error message. And I'm gonna take some time here to just show you how I read my error message and how I learn by my mistake. Here you see name Mongo error. So we know this is an error inside MongoDB. Message failed to parse, blah, blah, blah. Here, projection, skip, field must be numeric. So field must be a number. Oh, what happened here? You see, we have, um, I don't remember the name, but I think it's skipping stuff. And here we see we have two and two, it's a string. Limit, it's a string. What happened? If I go to Visual Studio Code, oh, here I see my three and my two came as a query because this is a param uh, a query param uh, string. So, how can we fix that? It's really easy. I hope 
If you don't know about how to put a string to number, I really want you to pause the video, search on Google and come back with the answer because I don't want to give you free answer and don't make you like understand what's gonna happen here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a limit variable who's gonna be rec that query uh, query that limit. So now we have the limit, but this is a string. So we need to parse this stuff inside a number. So I'm gonna cut this thing with command X. I'm gonna put parse int, convert a string to an integer, and I'm gonna paste my limit. And I'm gonna say I want a radius of uh, zero. I'm gonna copy paste this line. You don't need to do nothing here. You, do, you just need to do shift command D or shift control D. So that go a uh, line below. After that, select limit, do command D for select the other limit, and now do skip. So here, I change both in same time. So now I have limit and skip. Because we use the X6 now, I can just remove recurry limit, and recurry skip, and keep it like that. So now my limit and my skip. So now if I jump back to Postman, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna send, oh, Title 9, why? Oh, my skip, I skipped the first two. 11 minus 2, 9. 1, 2, and 3. Oh, because of my limit and my skip coming in from my params. Maybe I want to limit 4, and I want to skip the 4 first. I'm going to send 11 minus 4, 7, and now I get only the 4 first. Perfect. Now, I want no params at all. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to send. 11, 10, and I go down to the first one. So you see, they, why I got that? It's because of here I get um, a default value. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, let me know if you like the new format of uh, video and if you like the tutorial. I really appreciate all your comments. And that just made me want to continue and writing a uh, tutorial. And I uh, hope you enjoy all that. And we'll talk later. Have a good night. Bye.